Daniel uh, Motlop. Motlop? Yep. Is that correct? Motlop. Yep. Motlop, perfect. So, uh, would you like to tell us a little bit about your story, yep. like your, yourself? Yeah, so um, my, my country, so with, within Australia, there's obviously 500 different Aboriginal languages. Um, so, we call them 500 different um, countries. Um, within my area, it's called Larrakia. Mm -hmm. um, so Larrakia is a small uh, part of the Northern Territory up top of Australia okay. um, and it, it's, it's made up of uh, 16 families. I started my journey, um, I suppose, through food and footy, um, uh, Aussie rules that is, um, mm -hmm. not so much football with the soccer, the soccer ball, but um, Aussie rules we were called in Australia. Um, oh, well, why did you decide to play like that? Um, I suppose um, as a kid, you know, you, you, your uncles played it and, and all your family. So I, I was 16, done all my schooling in Darwin and got to an age uh, where I wanted to get, move away and, and go to school down here in Adelaide. Okay. Uh, moved away when I was 16 and, and started a professional footy career um, playing, playing in the AFL. I uh, spent 12 years playing professional um, AFL footy. And then after retirement, I started a, a small business um, called Something Wild, mm -hmm. basically selling um, and showcasing native ingredients to Australia. With Something Wild, we try to um, put fresh um, fruits and berries and nuts and greens um, that are native to Australia um, in our central market store mm -hmm. and, and sell it that way. Food helps to open cultures yep. because like Italian culture now sometimes is obviously uh, reinvented all over the planet but there is a strong connection with food and because of that you can find it, the, the Italian culture all over the planet yep. even though maybe it's not made from Italians. Yep. Yep. So the, the fact that you've been connecting and creating this opportunity from not uh, Aboriginal people to taste uh, and experience your product, I believe, is a way to open the cultures. Yep. Basically, in, in our culture, um, there, there's a system that we go by, which is called the moiety system. It, it's a Latin, Latin word for half. Okay. Um, so everything you walk through, the land, um, the stars, the skies, the sun, um, to people, to the animals, is either one or the other. Yiricha or dua, we call it. Mm -hmm. So it's basically a circle split in half and you're separated between, so eight clans will be Yiricha clans mm -hmm. and eight clans will be Dua clans. And that, that tells you who you can marry into as well. So Yiricha people have to marry Dua people and Dua have to marry Yiricha. Okay, um, that's interesting. And it's the same so, with all the plants. So if I understand well, Aboriginal, they also can, their culture is also their country. Yep. So the culture is where you are, which means the environment, which is, is yep. also culture. Is that correct? Yep. yep. Okay. We, come, we come third. People come third. Come third? Yep. Yeah, well, this is has yep. a lot of sense. Absolutely. After the animals and after the country, and then Abs there's people. Perfect. So. Well, that is, a, this yeah. is a beautiful sentence. Uh, sorry, I have to introduce someone that uh, today is helping us. Come on, come over here. <laughs> I've been checking the camera. He was checking the camera for us. And it's you can say fun. hi to everyone. They're going to see you. My son, Francis, who have been helping today a little bit. Can you please go back now and check if the camera is running? Because <laughs> if it's not running, I'm ruined. Basically, what we try to do at Something Wild is put these native ingredients in commercial products. Like um, if you've seen recently, we've done our yogurt. Um, mm -hmm. uh, so yogurt we've done with Fluoro Milk, um, the Fluoro Milk Company, just to obviously create jobs. So basically, if I, if I put a native ingredient um, in a commercial product, um, it can provide jobs back in the Aboriginal community where they harvest a lot of that stuff. Absolutely. Um, so, well, there's so many things that uh, that I've seen connecting um, between the project I'm developing over here and what you are doing. That's why when uh, you agreed to create this uh, sensory masterclass yep. about your product, you actually came out with the answer of a question that I had, which is, how do I use that? Yep. I mean, I'm so curious. I, they are there, I know that they are here, they haven't been imported, so they won't create any harm to the environment. Mm -hmm. Simply, I don't know how to use them. The, what will be done during this masterclass? Do we have yep. to dance or do we have to do something? No, no, no dancing. Um, basically, there'll be um, a number of uh, 
native ingredients, um, some that a lot of people have seen before. You know, there, there's stuff that people have have seen, but then there's stuff that people haven't. So um, we'll put a number of native ingredients on the table and, and pretty much uh, show them on a map where they are from, where they can be harvested, uh, mm-hmm. what area, where you can find them, um, around which certain plants. Um, but also we'll, we'll teach people how to cook with them. Um, the, the kakadu plum comes out of Water, which is a thousand kilometres out of Darwin. Um, so we collect that out of there um, through the ladies. And then also, we also do a green ant gin, yes. um, which is a very nice drop. So I actually had the opportunity yeah. I interviewed yep. uh, Sasha Laforge, oh, yeah, one yeah, of yep, the first yep. interviews where they do, I do with the Radio yep. Italia Uno. Yeah, I he's had. an Italian boy too, so yeah. yeah. Um, uh, thank you to come yep. over. Thank you for having me. Sharing, so. and um, I will see you again. And so thank you very much for who have been following us on the YouTube channel and uh, you'll find uh, uh, the information about uh, the website because they buy you also, you're also having a website so people yep. will be able to buy some of the products yep. online. Something Wild Australia, yep, okay. www.somethingwildaustralia. Perfect, so you can find the link below or you can see you know, the subtitles and uh, you can see the Adventures on Ag Adventures yep. which is agadventures.com.au uh, and um, if you're coming in Australia soon, just come and yep. see Daniel. Yep. or we'll the down to the Adelaide Central Markets and we'll be down there. And uh, thank you very much for following us. Thank you. Do you want to come to say thank you too? Thank you. <laughs> Ciao. Ciao, yeah. Ciao. Yeah. <laughs>